This was an engineering miracle. You go here to the information section. Your mind will keep sending you messages that something unreal is about to happen. Before you enter to the museum, there is a place that you should check first. I see the statue of King Amenhotep III, a massive statue of Queen Hatshepsut. You will have to look here. Who will subscribe to my channel right now? Good morning, rise and shine. So today I brought you here to the Grand Egyptian Museum. Actually, it is open right now. The Grand Egyptian Museum, also known as the Giza Museum, is an archaeological museum located in Giza, Egypt, about two kilometers far from the Giza Pyramid Complex. The museum will host over 100,000 artifacts from the ancient Egyptian civilization, and it will be the world's largest archaeological museum. There are some exhibits that I'm so excited to visit today but before you enter to the museum there is a place that you should check first and you should check this one standing outside the museum a huge obelisk that weighs more than 100 tons the obelisk dates back to the time of Ramesses the Great in Egyptian mythology the obelisk symbolized the sun god Ra and it played a vital role in the ancient Egyptian religion placing them in bears at the entrance of the temples. The most interesting thing about this obelisk is that this is the world's only hanged obelisk. And the reason this obelisk is hanged is because under it, it's a complete obelisk actually, and under it there is the signature of King Ramesses. So many obelisks, it's very difficult to, to see the signature of the pharaoh because it's always written in the bottom of the obelisk that's why this obelisk is hanged but sadly they are surrounding it it's closed now we can't go and see the signature inside but soon when all the like um all the sectors in the museum be open this also will be open and i think it's quite interesting to see the a signature i was a pharaoh right so let's go Let's enter the museum. Entering the museum is like crossing the line between two worlds. The world of reality and the world of fantasy. Something about these golden gates attracts you like a magnet. Your mind will keep sending you messages that something unreal is about to happen. And before even realizing it, you will find yourself standing in front of the greatest king of his time. King Ramesses II, or as we prefer to call him, Ramesses the Great. The 3,200 years old statue of Ramesses was discovered in 1820 by the Italian Egyptologist Giovanni Battista Caviglia at the Great Temple of Ptah near Memphis. It weighs 83 tons and was built to celebrate the victory of Ramesses over the Hittites in the Battle of Kadesh in 1273. BC. All hail King Ramesses. Inside the museum there is an information desk. The guys there will provide you with every information you need about the tours and the programs inside the museum. So once you enter the museum go directly to the information desk and ask about the timing of your first program. My first adventure was inside the immersive exhibit of Tutankhamun and luckily I arrived just five minutes before the start of the next tour inside this exhibit. Guess what we're about to start our first show which is the intensive exhibit of King Tut and actually it is like an audio visual show I wonder about it because I saw the teaser on YouTube and it sounds so fancy but since I'm early it will start after five minutes I guess like 10 30 sharp it will start and then after that I will tell you about our second adventure and we have three main adventures today here once it's time go directly to the exhibit gate and make sure you hold your ticket in your hand since I did my booking online I had my ticket in my phone and they scanned my QR code to let me in they will keep you waiting not for long meanwhile they will be preparing the hall for you and all the other equipments so we're inside and waiting for the show. Soon enough, you will be invited to cross the gates and get to the upper level. The place is equipped by electric stairs to make it easier for all. 
in the upper hall that's where the exhibit exists and once you arrive there you will be briefed and instructed what to do and what not to do inside the hall you will be told things like photography inside is allowed but without using flash you will be asked also to be located in the center of the hall to enjoy a better experience entering this hall is like entering a galaxy you'll feel like you're surrounded by thousands of stars around you so right now we're inside this room and the show is about to start and as instructed it's better to stay in the middle of the room it's show time The immersive exhibition is organized in six chapters or themes. The show starts with the creation of the ancient city of Heliopolis and the mythical birth of Tutankhamun by the hands of the Egyptian ram god Khanum. Then viewers will feel as if they are moving with the current of the Nile beneath them and surrounded by the lost landscape of ancient Egypt. The third chapter focuses on temples such as Abu Simbel and the colorful decorations of these temples. The color cuts to black and white images of the discovery of Tutankhamun's tomb and contemporaneous newspaper headlines around the world describing the momentous archaeological find. The last two sections take visitors into the tomb, bringing its wall drawings and treasures to life, with thousands of golden treasures inside, in Luxor's Valley of the Kings. Some of the treasures, including the boy king's striking gold death mask travels the world in temporary exhibitions before returning to Egypt. The Tutankhamun immersive exhibition launched in Madrid, Spain in November 2022 by Madrid Arts Digitals at their Digital Arts Center MAD received widespread acclaim, attracting over 300,000 visitors in just eight months. It has since toured to other European cities such as Barcelona and Vienna and in the end they decided to bring it to the Grand Egyptian Museum. This was amazing, right? So we're done with adventure number one. Now we we'll move to adventure number two which is the Great Staircase. So for the great staircase actually it's like tours so what happens is you go here to the information section and you ask for the time for the next tour and then they will guide you because you will have a tour guide to show you the place to tell you the story the history i'm waiting for my tour it will be exactly after one hour and then after one hour after this tour, there will be something very interesting I want to share with you here. It's like kind of a program, a competition, and you get to win something. This is the point. Meanwhile, we can explore the inside of this great museum. Actually, it's supposed, it's meant to be one of the biggest, hugest museums in the world but some sections here are still under construction but so far so good the building design was decided by an architectural competition announced on the 7th of january 2002 the organizers received 1557 entries from 82 countries making it the second largest architectural competition in history the building is shaped like a chamfered triangle in plane and its north and south walls line up directly with the great pyramid of Khufu and the pyramid of Menkaura. the project is estimated to cost 550 million dollars of which 300 million dollars will be financed from japanese loans the remaining costs are financed by the Supreme Council of Antiquities, other donations, and international funds. The new museum is designed to include newer technologies, such as virtual reality. The museum will also be an international center of communication between museums to promote direct contact with other local and international museums. The Grand Egyptian Museum will include a children's museum, conference center, training center, and workshops 
designed similarly to the old pharaonic places. The main attraction will be the first exhibition of the full tomb collection of King Tutankhamun. The collection includes about 5,000 items in total and will be relocated from the Egyptian Museum in Cairo. Other objects will be relocated from storages and the museums in Luxor, Menia, Sohag, Asyut, Peniswif, Fayyum, the Delta, and Alexandria. The museum features several main exhibition areas, including the Grand Staircase, the Grand Atrium, the Tutankhamun Galleries, and many thematic exhibitions that cover various aspects of ancient Egyptian history and civilization. The Grand Egyptian Museum represents a significant cultural and historical project for Egypt, aiming to provide a world-class facility for the preservation and exhibition of its rich archaeological heritage. Do you want to try something cool here? Actually, inside the Grand Egyptian Museum, there is this screen. Actually, this is a camera. You can stand in front of this screen and take a picture. And in your background will be the statue of King Ramesses. So we can try it. And actually, they tell you, you'll have to look here. Let's try it. Okay, and there's this in the capture button, and you have five seconds to stand on the floor mark to have the best footer. Okay. can choose your favorite after that you can choose your favorite this one is my favorite and then what and then you can enter your email here uh, we will show you the show you are our website I'll see now Okay, I'm done. So let me check. Let me check my email and see if I received this picture or not. This would be something. And and uh, I received the picture. This is the picture. Let me open it. Oh, all right. Okay, not bad. It's all right. Oh yeah, so you get to get pictures for free with Roman She's a great. But now, because the museum is not crowded, it's an easy task. Back again to the information desk, where you will receive your headphones that you will use to hear all the informations from the tour guide and make sure you present your ID or your passport as they will keep it until you return your headphone back. So this is a meeting point. I will have to wait in the meeting point till our tour guide will come and then he will take us and then actually before that i submitted my id card you submit your id card or your passport and you get this earphones so you can hear the instructions of your tour guide everything is set i have my earphones i have my radio i have everything and now we're waiting for our tour guide to come and take us we'll get our tour guide and now our tour is starting Our tour guide started by welcoming us. She checked our radios and our headphones to make sure that we can hear her. Then I realized that the tour is not only about the Great Staircase, but it will cover the whole museum. The tour starts by giving some basic information about the museum, its history and why it was built. One interesting information I knew in this tour is that in the roof of the museum, there is a hole that allows the sun to line up 
over the face of Ramesses the second twice every year, the day of his birth and the day of ascending to the throne. It resembles the same process that happens every year in his temple, Abu Simbel, in South Egypt. You will be briefed also about the hanged obelisk. What is the point of making it hang it that way and how important obelisks were for ancient Egyptians? After that, your tour guide will tell you the secrets of the colossal statue of Ramesses. And it is quite interesting how symbolism was very important for ancient Egyptians. The pharaoh standing in a military position with his left leg forward. His chin is straight without a curvy end, indicating that the statue was spelled during his life. King Ramesses had a very special relation with his daughter Merit Amun. That's why he preferred her to be incurved in his statue instead of any of his wives. You will also be introduced to a very important two statues from Ptolemaic Egypt. It will show you how the Hellenistic culture was affected deeply by the ancient Egyptian culture. Then the tour guide will take you to one of the greatest sections inside the museum, the Great Staircase. I realized later that you can freely enter to this section without any need to re-scan your QR code and even after the end of your tour you can re-enter this section alone and you can enjoy it as much as you want. The Great Staircase or the Grand Staircase of the Grand Egyptian Museum accommodates at least 60 artifacts including ancient Egyptian statues, sphinx, columns and sarcophagi making it one of the Grand Egyptian Museum's most iconic venues. The staircase spanning more than 6,500 square meters consists of four sections, each of which has a theme and houses different artifacts. The four sections from bottom to top are the royal image, which features statues of ancient kings and queens, the divine houses, which exhibits temple columns and an obelisk, the gods and kings, where statues of kings with gods were shown, and the journey to eternity, which displays rectangular and human-shaped sarcophagi and relevant items. A seated statue of King Amenhotep III, a massive statue of Queen Hatshepsut, another of King Sinusert III, a head statue of King Akhenaton, a granite doorway of King Amenemhat I, a statue of God Ptah with King Ramesses II, and goddess Sekhmet and a sarcophagus of Princess Nitocris are some of the important pieces on the grand staircase. This experience will not teach you only about the history of ancient Egypt, but also will teach you about the mythology and the religion of ancient Egypt as well. And in the end of the staircase, you can also get a distant view of the Giza pyramids by climbing to the top of the staircase. Well, I think this is the end of our tour in the great staircase and it was quite informative because they keep telling you the story of every section and um, if there is a king it will, they tell you the story of that king if there is a god they tell the story of that god the coronation of the king the beautification of the king and many things it was fun In the end of this tour, you can't handle but missing this place because it was quite a tour and you can't get enough out of it. So yeah, I recommend it actually. And even sooner, other halls will open. For example, you'll be able to see the full collection of Tutankhamun, 5,000 pieces. This is great. So this is the third part, actually. This is called the Grand Egyptian Museum Discover Challenge. So what happens is they give you a map like this. And in every single point here, there is a barcode, okay? And then I need to scan all these barcodes. And the barcode will show me the answer that I will have to write in this section. And then, after that, I will have to ask myself how many kings I saw, how many sun I saw, how many, like, um, how many crowns I saw. And then I will have 
to do the summation and the corresponding English letter in the alphabet. So the final answer here will be a letter, a, a not, um, yeah, not a number, it will be a letter. Like, uh, for example, if it's number one, then it is letter A. So I have to start searching around and uh, try to win this competition. Let's go. Ah, yes, okay. This is the first barcode. I found the first barcode over here. Let's scan it. Okay, this is clue symbol six. I am... Okay, the question is, I am a famous Egyptian queen. I am known for my beauty. Once you find me, you will see I am only represented by a, rob a replica. My original head is in Berlin. So it is queen... Okay, this one. Search for this special monument. Of course, I will not reveal to you the secrets of this competition. I will not tell you where to find these barcodes. I will not share the questions with you. And of course, I will not share the answers with you. Why? Because I want you to play it by yourself and enjoy it by yourself. Because it will keep you moving around the whole museum and exploring the whole museum and it is really fun. But what I can tell you that I won in this competition and even if I won the first, I secured myself a very delicious ice cream as a reward. Oh yeah, winner winner, ice cream dinner. It is quite small but it's good to get things for free. Hmm. And this is very good. So yeah, one day you'll get to be a winner like me and get whatever you want. So this was the end of our tour today. We saw the immersive show of Tutankhamun. We knew the history and show we saw all the statues. And so is the museum and we play the game and we won an ice cream thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next video in the gentle embrace of the golden sands where the worshippers of the nile breeze carry the echoes of an ancient love story lies a realm that transcends the boundaries of time in the heart of ancient egypt amid the majestic pyramids that stand as silent witnesses to eternity love blossomed like the looters in the sacred water. May the love, the beauty, the majesty of Egypt never fail your expectations. Ooh.